Once upon a time in a village called Umudim, there lived a boy named Emeka and a girl named Auntie Ngozi. Emeka and Auntie Ngozi loved each other very much, but Emeka had to live far away from Ngozi because of his work. Emeka worked in a city many miles away, and although he missed Ngozi dearly, he couldn't always be with her. They would talk on the phone every day, telling each other about their lives and promising to stay faithful. One day, Emeka started to notice some strange things happening in Ngozi's village. People whispered about Ngozi spending a lot of time with Abuka, the palm wine tapper who lived nearby. Emeka's heart felt heavy with worry, and he couldn't shake off the feeling that something was wrong. Filled with doubt and fear, Emeka decided to visit Ngozi's village to see her for himself. When he arrived, he was shocked to discover that Ngozi had given birth to four children, and Abuka was their father. Emeka's heart shattered into pieces as he realized that Ngozi had betrayed him with another man. He felt a mix of sadness, anger, and confusion. How could the girl he loved so much do this to him? As tears welled up in his eyes, Emeka confronted Ngozi, demanding to know the truth. Ngozi confessed tearfully, explaining that she had felt lonely and neglected while Emeka was away, and she had made a mistake by being with a booker. But even in his pain, Emeka couldn't bring himself to hate Ngozi. He still loved her, despite everything. And so, their story of distance lovers took a tragic turn, leaving both Emeka and Ngozi to face the consequences of their choices. Filled with a mix of emotions, Emeka struggled to make sense of the situation. He wanted to forgive Ngozi and start afresh, but the hurt ran deep, and he wasn't sure if he could trust her again. Meanwhile, Ngozi was consumed by guilt and regret. She pleaded with Emeka for forgiveness, promising to make amends and prove her love for him. But Emeka needed time to heal, time to decide if he could ever trust Ngozi again. As days turned into weeks, Emeka and Ngozi tried to rebuild their relationship. They talked openly about their feelings, their fears, and their hopes for the future. Slowly, the wounds began to heal, and a glimmer of hope emerged in their hearts. But the road ahead was not easy. Emeka had to learn to trust Ngozi again, while Ngozi had to prove herself worthy of that trust. They faced many challenges and obstacles along the way, but their love for each other gave them strength to persevere. And so, the story of Emeka and Ngozi, the distance lovers, continued on a new path filled with ups and downs, twists and turns. But through it all, they held on to each other, determined to overcome whatever challenges came their way. As time passed, Emeka and Ngozi's bond grew stronger. They worked hard to rebuild trust and communication in their relationship. Emeka made regular visits to Ngozi's village, and they spent precious moments together, cherishing the love they shared. Despite the challenges they faced, Emeka and Ngozi found joy in each other's company. They laughed, they cried, and they dreamed of a future filled with love and happiness. But the shadow of Ngozi's past betrayal lingered, casting doubt and insecurity over their relationship. Emeka struggled to let go of the hurt and pain, while Ngozi vowed to never again betray his trust. Together, they faced the whispers and gossip of the villagers, who couldn't forget the scandalous affair between Ngozi and Abuka. But Emeka and Ngozi refused to let their past define them. They stood united, determined to prove that their love was stronger than any obstacle. And so, the story of Emeka and Ngozi, the distance lovers, became a tale of forgiveness, redemption, and unconditional love. They showed the world that even in the face of betrayal and heartache, true love could conquer all.